King, Knight, Fool, Villain. By David Peterson. Fall, 1129, near the scent border, outside Bardstone. Sue, Sam, are you home? I've traveled from town to have my fortune told. Hey, who is howling? And pray tell, lad, why do you need your soul's forecast? I'm told I'm cursed. Cursed? What mouse could curse you? At my birth, I was delivered under a new moon at the peak of darkness. I did not start life in my parents' paws, but on the ground. No mouse was able to find me for over half the night. When I was discovered, they said my fur was darker than it had been before, that I was bathed in the same shadow that steals the moon twelve times a year. The entire town believes it to be an omen against me, that I am now marked with this shade. Your fur? What utter nonsense. And what do you say to the many mice before you and after you with the same fur color, who are never said or seen to be cursed? But we will see what the bones say. Curious you don't live in a log. Uh, worm entrails, then. Strange? This has nothing to do with wolves. Then, skeleton cards it is. King. Knight. Fool. Villain. The cards you chose show that within you is a ruler, a warrior, an idiot and a mouse of treachery. Of course, this could also be seen as a tyrant, a murderer, a joyful entertainer, and a mouse unafraid to defy the rules. These cards say that I am all of those things? The origins of these cards are that Ben Lisa, who trained me in this life, discovered and unearthed the remains of 37 mice in the wild country. She reassembled them, clothed them, and identified them as the king, the knight, the architect, the mother, the stargazer, the hermit, the child, and so on. She blindfolded a mouse whose future was to be foretold, wander inside the circle of bones until they chose four with whom they had a strong bond. And Benlisa would explain those roles that lived within the mouse how they guided their destiny. Later, I made cards to be drawn from a pile to avoid the dangerous trip into the wild country. When the circle of bones had been knocked down time and again, each time I became less certain which bones belonged to which mice. Without the clothes, without the labels, no mouse could tell one from the other. No telling who was the villain or the king. It's not our fur or garments that make us these things or dictate which of the roles comes forward in us, but our actions, actions of our hands, actions of our hearts, and actions of our minds. So you have no faith in your own forecasting? Is this all a joke, an empty ritual? Eh, who knows? On my first card reading, Benlisa flipped over the hermit. Then she killed over and perished before my other cards were flipped. And I have certainly lived the life shown in that one card forecast. Clearly, you chose that path for yourself. If I can choose one card alone, I wish only to be the king. Careful, Mortimer. Yes, I know your true name before they called you Midnight. Mice who wish only for that one often become the villains.